fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the Iron Man Hall of Armor playset from the Marvel Toy Box line from Disney. So if you're familiar with the Toy Box line at all, uh, it started a while ago. Uh, basically after Disney Infinity died, they started this Toy Box line of action figures exclusive to the Disney store that's kind of in the same art style. So it has the kind of same feel as the Disney Infinity figurines. But these are actually action figures with articulation and everything. I bought a couple of them at first because I do kind of like the art, the art style. But, I don't know, I had a couple break on me. Um, I would say, Doctor, I had a Doctor Strange whose leg snapped off. I had, I think one other one maybe broke. For the most part though, they're pretty good figures for the few that I did buy. It's just that I kind of got out of the 5 inch figure game and kind of concentrated on other things. But... I still think it's a pretty cool toy line, and there are times when I see like new releases and things that I think look really good, and it kind of tempts me to get back into it, but for the most part, I'm not going to. Uh, but the reason I picked this one up, there was a Black Friday sale that was just too good to pass up. It was basically about 20 bucks, 25 bucks for this thing that's normally 50 and I had free shipping and everything. So uh, I really got excited to pick this up because a lot of people online were showing that it's a Hall of Armor playset, but it's compatible with you know, six inch Marvel Legends and other toy lines and things like that. So while I do think I'm going to have fun with the figure and the armor that's included in this, I'm also really excited to kind of just repurpose this playset for other things. So the box is really massive. Uh, there's not too much going on the top. It just kind of says Marvel Toy Box there. Not really anything going on the bottom. The sides just kind of say Marvel Toy Box. If we spin it around, we can get a full look at what's going on here. So you can see uh, you get one Iron Man action figure with kind of two sets of armor that peg on top of that. You can see, make these two configurations over here. You have this hall of armor. You can uh, close it up into a carrying case, which you can see over here. You can do different configurations. And then if you buy multiples of these, you can make even more configurations. You can stack them. They connect together. They have like pegs on the top. So if you really wanted to go nuts, and I've seen pictures of people online who have bought four or five of these and just stack them all up. And if you have a ton of Iron Man, like Marvel Legends and things, you can pop them all in here. It's crazy. Um, so I just think it's neat. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's a cool little play set. And for basically half price with full shipping, I couldn't say no. So <laughs> I think this looks really neat. I'm going to go ahead and get everything out of the box here. And then we're going to take a closer look. So here's this thing fully assembled out of the box. And I got to be honest, I thought I would have an easier time filming it once I got it out of the box. I was wrong. This thing is massive. I think it's somehow even bigger than the box when it's fully assembled. But it looks really cool. I mean, it's fairly basic, you know what I mean? It's just the the walls of the Hall of Armor. But you do have this piece in the center, which is pretty cool. You have this ramp, which uh, extends, obviously, much for, more forward than you can see. You have this rotating uh, platform here in the center. He's got some uh, peg holes here in his feet, and there's these two peg spots right here. So if you just go ahead and peg him into this, get this lined up, which he pegs in pretty easily. And then there's actually a track, so you can actually move the peg hole, the pegs themselves forward and back a little bit. So if you want to position them a little differently, but then this spins, you just spin it with your hand. There's no lever or anything, but I think that works. It's kind of cool. Uh, you can't really see it up here, but there is a little... Um, notch and I'll show this off a little later but it opens up kind of a little like roof area there's a little thing that you can slide open you can see a little bit more light coming through when I have that open I'll show that off a little bit later uh, otherwise it's just the walls and they also have uh, pegs back here that are on tracks so if you want to uh, you know slide them forward or back and I'll get into that a little bit later first off let's take a look at the Iron Man figure so overall I think he looks pretty good He's mostly this kind of cherry red color, but he does have this kind of bronzish gray color as his accent color to break it up. I mean, the paint applications are nice. I mean, it runs all the way around the figure onto the back. Looks really sharp. I will get a little bit closer here. Articulation wise, head can go from side to side. You have a hinge as well. You have a hinge here in the shoulder, which is a little uh, limited by the shoulder pad, but you do get a nice rotation there as well. You have a hinge in the elbow as well as a rotation. You have a hinge in the hand as well as a rotation. You have a waist swivel, which on mine is a little loose, unfortunately. Hopefully that's just mine and it's not a constant QC issue. I will say though that the there's not necessarily a problem with the hips, but they seem very thin to me and I feel like they're in danger of breaking. Not because there's any problem with them, but I just 
they seem frail they seem tiny and that scares me a little bit but you have a nice range of motion you can kick forward and kick out to the side got a butt flaps he's not really going back at all no thigh swivel you have a joint here for the knee but it kind of bends more forward than it does backward which is weird because that's not how human knees work but you do have a rotation there as well and then you have this pretty solid hinge in the ankle which is like a better joint than the hip i kind of wish they would have switched those uh, but overall he looks good he's definitely painted nicely he's got uh these hands here he's got kind of a open hand here i'm assuming for the repulsor shot out of the palm this one's just kind of a little bit more normal position for his hand but yeah overall he looks pretty good it's a pretty cool little figure uh, i can go ahead and stand him back here on the base now he does have these two uh, bits of armor here, which I want to show off how they work. So the first one over here is this kind of like drilling, I guess, exploration set or something. I'm not really 100% sure how these go or what they're 100% intended for. This one kind of strikes me as maybe like a space armor. Again, I'm just making this up. But <laughs> if we move uh, Iron Man off to the side here, there is this little uh, piece that kind of hangs off the top here. And it has a little bit of a hinge on it, so you can move that around a little bit if you can actually see back there. And how that's supposed to work is these, these top parts, the kind of shoulder pads of the armor, have peg holes on the back. And you're supposed to be able to peg this in here. Now, I have the hardest time getting this to go. It doesn't really want to peg in that well for me. Maybe it'll hold for a second. So that way, you know, you can have him here and it's kind of like in the movie when those things come around and put all the armor on him so he would you know get under here and then it would kind of go on and then you could step away from it and that could just back off um but yeah the armor's kind of neat so this first one you can see it's got like a drill motif these pieces spin so you i don't know if you can actually see that but the drills are spinning there uh you have these shoulder pads which have some movement so you can move them around otherwise it's just this kind of cage it's a blue color with a little bit of black paint for detailing, a little bit of white as well. It looks pretty good. Now, this doesn't peg in as far as I can tell. You just drop this on, and it just kind of sits on top of him. It just uses gravity to stay in place. So I'm going to put that on as the last piece, because <laughs> otherwise it's going to be flopping around this whole time. Uh, the legs, I actually think, are kind of neat. So you have these leg pieces, and then this swivels down like this, and you really just clip it onto his leg. His leg just kind of clips in there. And then you can close this up if you want. And that's like a nice way to keep it on him. And obviously the treads are going to come into play a little bit later on. But if he doesn't want to use the treads, he can kind of store them on the back there and they just make really nice heels. Uh, so you can take this piece. Now this is the part that is kind of a bummer. You have this grabber claw piece, which you push this down and that kind of pinces, which is neat. And then you have... I don't really know what this is. It's supposed to be like a big fist, I guess, and it just kind of moves up and down. Um, and you're supposed to slide these over the hands, but the problem is because this one hand has that thumb extended, it can't really work either of these. Neither of these will fit. You can kind of see that, you know, the hand just doesn't want to get inside there because that thumb is sticking out, and that's really for both of them which is kind of a bummer. I thought maybe I could unpeg it and put it around, but it's not really working. Uh, you can use either one on this hand. Let me make sure I have this right. So this one can kind of go on here like this, and then you have this weird power punching thing, uh, or you can just go ahead and, and the pincer claw fits pretty easily in here. Now again, they don't really peg in, they just kind of get pushed on and they sit on there. So I don't really care for them. I mean, okay, it sits on there and that's great. And then you can go ahead and just drop this on. But again, nothing really pegs in. The feet stay on decently. These all just kind of sit on there and it's okay. You know, it's not bad, but it's not super impressive to me. I got to be honest. I think it looks cool, but I wish it pegged in a little bit more securely. So I'm going to just take these off because, again, they'll just fall off. But the one thing you can do with the leg armor, which I actually think is kind of cool, this comes down, and then this rotates down here like so, and then they kind of rock back into place, and then he gets these kind of like roller blades, which I think is actually pretty cool. This is my favorite part of the drill armor, is just the boots. And so he just has these kind of like crazy tread roller blades. 
And there's wheels on the bottom. They spin. I mean, he's Iron Man. He doesn't. He can fly. He doesn't really need rollerblades, but who cares? They're fun. I like it. <laughs> so that's the highlight of the blue armor for me. I do think the 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 top section here is kind of neat. I like the grill. It reminds me of that uh, yellow utility like vehicle from Aliens. Um, and I do think it's cool that the drills move, and they kind of rotate. So if you want to uh, have them up here like this charging at an enemy or something you can do that so i think that's kind of fun i just don't really like either of the two arm elements but you could just use the legs and the shoulder pads and you wouldn't have to use the rest of it so there is that option uh coming over here to the space armor i think this is a little bit more uh successful and again i don't know it's space armor i'm just it seems like it would be uh these boots actually they come undone so they just unpeg right there and then I think you can see right there, maybe you can see that, it says R for right. So I don't know if that's because it's the right section of this. No, they both say right. So this is telling me it goes on the right leg. So that's good. So we'll clip this on there. Because I think it, when I was first playing with this, I did put them on wrong. And it doesn't really work right. So you do want to make sure you put them on the right leg. And they just clip over top. And then you peg it together over top of the leg like so okay apparently it does not want to peg together there we go so he's got these big boots now they look kind of neat i like that and then he's got these two um i don't know this is just kind of like a like a blade of some kind and this is a little bit softer rubber so you won't have as much trouble getting them over the hands which is nice so this one just kind of like pegs on and just kind of holds in place with friction. Again, nothing really pegs in. Then you have this other one, which has, I'm guessing, some kind of grappling point or something. And then you have this kind of like grabby claw, which is kind of neat. Uh, but they have this like elastic band. I mean, over time, that's just going to give out and, and crumble the dust. So that's already got a limited life on it but at least you can actually get this over the hand because it's got uh some like elasticness to it it's a little springy i can kind of squish it to get it over that thumb and then just put that over like that and then you take this piece and you just drop it over top and again nothing pegs in you just kind of push it down till it makes sense and then here he is with that armor let me move the camera up here just a bit. So I think that's kind of cool. I like the look of it. I think the white goes really good with the red. And I think this color is somewhat close to the bronze. So that kind of works as well. I don't love this piece just hanging here off to the side. Um, I wish there was a way to maybe like peg that in or something. Just so it wasn't just hanging there. Uh, but overall, even if you wanted to just get rid of this one. You could just take this off and then knock Iron Man over. <laughs> but then... I think this looks good. I think the shoulder pads look good. He's got these big thrusters on the back. It's even painted nicely here. And again, you can peg this piece on here if you wanted to lower it on to get that kind of hull of armor, you know, equipping the armor effect. So I think that's pretty cool. I think that's neat. If you have other Iron Man figures uh, from the toy box, there have been other ones. You can put them in the back here. But that's pretty much it for Iron Man and his various armor. I'm going to go ahead and just take all this stuff off. And then we can actually take a look at the playset itself. Again, I've pretty much shown you most of the features that it has. I, can never, I can't get them pegged in when I want to, and I can't get them unpegged when I want to. <laughs> These boots are giving me a hard time. Come on. I don't want to, I'm really kind of nervous I'm going to break these pegs one day, but let's take all of this armor stuff and put this off to the side. Get it out of the way. Okay, let's take a look at the actual playset itself. So the centerpiece, uh, these all connect together. So you have this piece go in the middle, and the way it works is they have numbers. You can kind of see here, this says number one. On the back, this says two, three, four, five, six. So it tells you what order to put them in. Honestly, it doesn't matter. The only one that matters is, I guess, number four, because that has a special connection to connect this uh, base in the center and also to connect the roof. So you definitely want that one. You can kind of see as I move it around how that moves that one in the middle. 
because that's how they're pretty snugly connected. And it would have to be pretty snugly connected for this to just freestanding float out here because there's no support struts or anything. This is just pegged into the top of that and it's enough to hold it in place, which is pretty impressive. I thought that was gonna be a problem. Um, again, you have the rotating uh, panel here in the center with the pegs that can move. You can see all of these have pegs in a track as well. So if you wanted to take your Iron Man and go ahead and peg him into one of these and we'll see how well we can do this. Put the arms down at the sides. Uh, is that actually pegged in? Yeah, it might be pegged in and then you can kind of slide it back. So that's kind of a nice feature because it might be hard to peg it in all the way to the back, but you can peg it in the front and then slide it back. Now you can see there's a lot of empty space up here. So even though this was made for the toy box figures, it's pretty tall and it can host a variety of other figures. So just for fun, I'm gonna start putting all kinds of random stuff in here. So here is a Spin Master four inch Batman. Obviously you can see it's about half as tall. He looks very small there. Uh, I have a deluxe class Earthrise Transformer, which you can kind of fit in there. And uh, he fits, so you could even do something like that. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a Marvel Legends Iron Man handy, but I can go ahead and put in uh, Hugh Jackman Wolverine, and you can see how well he kind of fits in there. So if you did have Marvel Legends Iron Man armors, you could 100% pop them in here. No problem whatsoever. There's still room. It's not really even a tight fit. So this should be a cool little place that you can really use with a variety of different figures. Like, I think this is kind of cool. Um, you know, there's a lot of room for everybody here. I think this is really neat. So I really love that this thing is as big as it is because you could really use it with just about any size figures that you probably have and it would scale and it would work. So I just think that's really cool. And then of course, the last thing I wanted to show off is the customization aspect. So like I said, pretty much this middle section all needs to stay the same, but you can go ahead and pretty easily disconnect these. And you can see this one says uh, 06, and I can show you that on the back of these, uh, they all have the numbers. Let me go ahead and flip this up. So you can see two, three, four, five. But like I said, four has to kind of stay connected because that is how the assembly works. But you could take this piece, you could go ahead and you see that there are two pegs up here. There are peg holes on the bottom. And then you can just go ahead and peg that in. And it's pretty snug. I mean, that's not going anywhere. That's not going to fall over anytime soon. Honestly, trying to take it off is, is <laughs> a little bit difficult. But I think that's really cool. I mean, you could definitely make multiples of the, or buy, get, buy multiples of these and then uh, make whatever configurations you want. You could just do another complete string of five peg it right on top no problem that way this would kind of sit on top of this now you can see how <laughs> i just kind of tapped that and it already fell out you can see how it has the extra connection piece that's why it has to fit into this one so it'll work and it honestly it stays pretty well and i'm probably not even having it pegged in as much but i wonder after you would do now i would assume if you're going to do a lot of these you would probably not have a, a circular pad on top because I feel like after a while that weight would make it fall down but you could certainly have the pad on the bottom and then just keep stacking these on the top these stacking into each other would work pretty well and it would actually stay pretty snug because like I said these two pegs up here really peg into the bottom of these pretty well and you shouldn't have any issue with that now, of course, they do advertise it as like a carrying case as well. And you can see how there's a peg here, but a spot and a peg hole and a spot. So you just go ahead, same thing up here, and you just wrap these around and they will apparently disconnect, but they're supposed to peg in. So let's get this pegged in. Why is this being so difficult? It's supposed to peg and I thought it pegged in pretty early, easy earlier. All right, well, I'm going to have to peg this in uh, off camera and find out what's going on here for a second. So here you go. I think it was just the problem of getting that first one to line up with both the top and the bottom. And then once you do that, it kind of keeps it in place and the other ones kind of snap in a little bit easier. I took the, off, the front two uh, off just so I could show you having one on each side pegged in. I almost kind of like the look of this as well. 
you know, just to kind of have the armors a little bit closer together, almost like, you know, Tony's coming in and they're just surrounding him. Uh, and then you can kind of open this up to let in a little bit more light. I can actually show you this now a little bit easier. I will peg this in just to get it out of the way. But here is the kind of like top section here that when you slide that open, I wish it slid in a little bit more. I wish it went all the way in to have this really be open because it's kind of a limited space. But I do still think that's pretty cool how it slides open like that. So I like that. And then if you wanted to go ahead and bring in those other ones and clip these on, you should be able to get these to peg in a little bit easier now. Apparently it's just some rule that when it's on camera, it just will not peg in for me. I don't understand why. Yeah, this is okay. Well, you get the idea. I'm done with this. <laughs> it's really a funny, like, honestly, when I turn the camera off, I have no trouble whatsoever. And then as soon as I turn the camera on, it's like, nope, we have to make you look like a fool. It's like, cool. See, that one went in just fine. I don't really understand what the problem is with this one. It's almost like it doesn't, maybe this is not pegged in all the way. Uh, maybe that's it. It is kind of like every single piece has to completely line up because they're connected as well as being pegged in, so... But once you do have them all in, then you can just go ahead, peg this one up, and then boom, it is almost like a cool little carrying case. It almost looks like one of those like modules he launches from space that had like the Hulkbuster in it or something like that. It's kind of cool. So I do appreciate this. This will make it great for storage if you don't have a ton of room or you don't have the ability to display it. You could fold this all up and put this somewhere. So I think that's pretty cool. I like that it can all close up like that. Very, very neat. I think this thing is pretty cool. Uh, it's not perfect, but as a display piece or a little play set for kids, I think it's definitely kind of neat. The Iron Man figure that comes with it, I think, looks good. The articulation's pretty good. I just worry about some of, like, the hips and the waist are a little loose, and I feel like they're kind of fragile. Hopefully they don't break down the line. Uh, the two armor sets that you get to put on the figure are kind of cool, but they don't work perfectly. Uh, usually the, like, shoulder torso bits and the legs are perfectly good, but I run into problems with both sets of arms. Um, the hands are kind of in, you know, configurations where they don't all fit, which is kind of a problem, or some of them just are kind of loose or elasticy and just kind of hang there, which isn't really great. But for the most part, I think it's kind of cool. I do like how the uh, center piece here spins and also has the pegs on a track. And I also like how the, uh, you know, sections on the side also have pegs on a track, so it's easier to peg them in and then kind of shift them back for display. I think it's cool how big this is so that it works with a variety of different size figures. If you have Marvel Legends Iron Man figures, I think they would definitely fit here perfectly good. And this is really neat. I like the top piece here with the kind of iris that opens and closes. I wish that was a little bit more secure. I wish there was maybe like a strut here you could peg into here and here just to kind of keep that a little bit more solid. Uh, the ramp piece here is not bad. It doesn't really uh, serve a huge function, but it exists and it's not bad. Um, closing it up into the case is a little problematic just because you need to get four pegs and everything to line up while also having them connected to each other and you can run into problems there, but you can eventually get it done. And once you have it connected, it's very solid. It's not going to fall apart. I also like the uh, compatibility with uh, other pieces as far as stacking them. You know, they did make it so that if you wanted to buy multiples of these, or if you just want to use this one and make different configurations, you have that uh, compatibility and you have those options. So I think there's a lot of fun to be had here. Uh, kids will probably like it because the figure is decent and it comes with those extra armor pieces. But I think for collectors, there's a lot of value here as a display piece, especially if you buy multiples and you can really just make a huge hull of armor uh, for all your different Iron Man figures. So I think it's really cool. Uh, I don't think it's on sale anymore. Paying full price of 45 or 50 I don't know if I would like it as much, but having only paid about $24 because of the sale, I love it. So I think it's one of those deals where I'm kind of kicking myself. I maybe should have bought at least one more. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe one day it'll get clearanced out or something. I can get a couple more. I don't think I would pay full price for it, but uh, on sale, I think it's really neat. I mean, if you want to go at it and just get a bunch, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I definitely think the playset, like these are nice, solid pieces of plastic. They're not going to break you know, the figure might break, but if you're buying multiples, you'll have backups, so it won't be a problem. 
Uh, and as long as you're careful with the figure, I don't think it's going to break. I just, I certainly wouldn't drop it from a height or anything like that because I think those hips are never going to last forever. And the elastic band on that white armor is definitely one day just going to give out because those kinds of things just don't last forever. But the core, the Hall of Armor pieces, the display, I think is pretty solid and I like it a lot. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I want to hear from you in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you so much for watching.